Yeah, yeah, you know, man, and I realized what happened to these believers, or these so-called believers, is they lost the power that they had in their belief. See, they never had a belief in the first place. They copied people, you know, they copied people that was really strong in the faith. Like maybe, say when I was strong in the faith, it was like you just copied, they tried to copy who I was, to try to devalue who I was, to try to uh, value themselves over me and probably others that really, really believed. So when you get that like, like that, they're like, oh, dad, daddy. You know what I'm saying? It's like they call him, you daddy, just like uh, in, the, in, in the Bible itself, you know, right when Abraham was called the father of nations. See that again, this had nothing to do with God, but if a Christian, I believe he had, I said, oh, 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 he's talking about God, he's talking about Abraham. They would get excited and be sick of fans, right? So the point is, when you, when you father something, like when you mother something, in this lifetime, people get happy over it. Then if somebody try to devalue you, so they try to look at your life and try to start trying to devalue you, but they lose the value of what they were talking about. And see, the value that they were supposed to be talking about was this, was God. That was supposed to be the value. So what happened was, see, God lost his, his value because, like I keep saying, you know, and like we know, there is no God. And so now they don't. They know they can't prove it. They got desperate. So that's what happened. You know, I'm starting to realize this. You know, a lot of people really didn't believe. A lot of people just follow other people. They heard things and they just, you know, they ran with it. And then when you leave it, they're like, oh, oh, dad, he left. Well, what can I do now? Well, oh, let me just start making up excuses. Then all you're doing is to make it up excuses maybe that you made up for God and they just making up more and, you know, they just making up more and more excuses. And everything is an excuse now. Everything is, oh, well, this and oh, well, that. Oh, well, you have to make what I'm seeing. And all this, he like, no, I know my father, so I can't say, oh, oh, well, I didn't know Leroy Morris, but I believe he made me. I believe he spurned me out of his dick. No, I know he did. Same with my mother. I can't say, oh, I believe I came out of Doreen Bryant's womb. No, I know I did. I can't say, oh, I believe Tamisha Bryant is my sister. No, she is. And Kareem Bryant is my brother. My little brother, he is. And Troy Bryant is my older brother, he is. See, I know this. You understand what I'm saying? I can't say, oh, I believe I went to Franklin K. Lane. I believe I went there. Just have faith that, no, I did. I can't believe, oh, I believe I graduated. I graduated. I, you know, that's the point. So, what it is, is they know that they have no belief in this God now. I mean, yeah, they have no proof. Remember, they have no proof or no fact in this God. But the thing is, so now, instead of talking about God, they can't. They're like, okay, wait, Dad, you know, the Holy Spirit, now I'm Lord. They're like, oh, well, the Holy Spirit has got me lost now. I don't really know what else to say. Everything I was saying was, test this, test that, it's the Holy Spirit, this and that. Like I said, if, if, if God, if the Holy Spirit was uh, such a, you know, work of wonder, he would have told them I was going to deconvert and so many others. And he didn't tell them that. They found out when we deconverted. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, these people, they start getting driven crazy. Like we said, you know, that was just an idea, okay? Y'all can have your idea, but stop being a sick offense and putting your ideas on people that don't believe in it no more. Very simple. You know what I'm saying? And you can live life better. Stop forcing bullshit on people. That's the point. And that's why you should, don't force bullshit that you can't prove on people. If you can prove it, you can force it. You say, you know what? I got proof, and here it is. This one right said, okay, dad, pardon me for that. Pardon me for that. But you can't, if you don't have no proof, you can't force proof on somebody. You can't say, yo, yeah, here, 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 here. No, no. Take your belief and you can have it though. And be happy with it and be grounded with it. But stop forcing it on people like myself and those of us that have been moved on and got on about our business and we live in happy lives.